Glidevale are market leaders in the design, production, sales and marketing of slate, tile and ridge ventilators and have been supplying the industry since 1982. Building regulation compliance in all respects is a key factor in the design and development of all Glidevale ventilation products which are manufactured and audited under BS, EN, ISO 9001 quality management systems. Fire, one of nature's most destructive forces. Building regulation approved document part B lays down performance criteria for roof coverings and parts of roofs. The requirement states that the roof of the building shall resist the spread of fire over the roof and from one building to another, having regard to the use and position of the building. Table 17 of B4 shows that roofs or parts of roofs should have at least an AA, AB or AC fire rating for unrestricted use. That is, no minimum distances between units or to boundaries on a particular site. This is a fire underway at a department store in Blackpool. The fire is well established and is being attended by the fire brigade. Fire hoses are being directed not only at the burning building but also onto the roof across the road. Steam coming from this roof can clearly be seen, showing the extent of the temperature buildup from the heat radiation from the fire on the opposite side of the road. As the image is lost due to smoke buildup, the film switches to infrared imaging, which allows us to see through the smoke. The snowing effect is hot airborne and burning embers. These show up as white and can be seen collecting in valleys and eaves gutters. Such embers would also collect behind roof protrusions such as chimneys and roof tile ventilators. If such products are not fire rated, there is a risk that they could catch a light, thereby propagating a fire on that roof. Again, in infrared, we see the roof opposite the fire source as red. This shows the temperature of this roof slope due to the radiant heat from the fire. This is why Building Regulation Approved Document B requirement states, the roof of the building shall resist the spread of fire over the roof and from one building to another, having regard to the use and position of the building. This applies to roofs, the roof covering material and parts of roofs which would include accessories such as tile and slate ventilators. So what do the two letters in the fire ratings mean and where do they come from? BS 476 Part 3 2004 External Fire Exposure to Roofs describes the tests for roofs and is in two parts, namely fire penetration and fire spread. Each part or test type produces a designation A to D and these letters combined produce the overall classification. The first letter relates to fire penetration and the second letter to surface spread of flame with the designation A being optimum performance in both categories. The fire penetration part of the test simulates a roof about 8 meters above ground, being subjected to a fire some 14 meters away, in a building with a facade of 15 by 15 meters and 50% window openings. It measures resistance to penetration by fire. The test enables the first letter designation to be given. The surface spread of flame part of the test simulates the same roof subject to radiant heat and burning brands or embers. It measures the distance of the spread of flame on the outer surface of the roof covering. The distance to which the fire spreads downwards over the specimen gives a measure of the minimum intensity required to ignite the surface when a small igniting source, such as a burning brand or ember, is present. The test enables the second letter designation to be given. As previously stated, for unrestricted use, a product must have an AA, AB or AC rating. The National Federation of Roofing Contractors Technical Bulletin 20 clearly states 
the materials used in the manufacture of roof ventilation terminals should not significantly increase the risk of fire spread or penetration of the external roof envelope and comply with current building regulations. It will also be necessary to consider the number of roof ventilation terminals used in the roof. Immediately the specimen is exposed to the radiant heat, the flame source is applied to the product for a period of three minutes. This part of the test is to simulate burning brands or embers that might have landed on the specimen. The glide veil ventilator uses a specially formulated fire retardant polymer and self-extinguishes almost immediately, resulting in an A rating for surface spread of flame. We now see an unrated ventilator under the same test. The flame source is applied for three minutes and as the test progresses it becomes apparent that the material from which the specimen is made is itself propagating fire resulting in molten dripping material falling from the ventilator and onto the roof underlay. This in turn catches a light resulting in complete failure of the specimen before the flame source is removed. The roof is now well alight even though the adjacent roof tiles are not affected. All glide veil slate and tile ventilators have been independently tested by the Loss Prevention Council, now BRE, to BS 476 Part 3, and have been awarded an AA classification. There is a view held by some in the industry that roof ventilators are an insignificant part of the roof and can therefore be ignored with regards to fire. History has shown us, however, that this is not the case and there have been instances of roof ventilators contributing to the spread of fire, as this article in the Newry Reporter in Northern Ireland amply demonstrates. Thousands of homes throughout Northern Ireland could become death traps in the event of chimney fire if they have plastic roof vents installed. A chimney fire at a house in Dundalk Road, Cross Glen, on Friday evening ignited one of the vents, causing the fire to spread throughout the roof space, gutting the upper half of the house, prompting fire chiefs to call for an urgent investigation into their use. According to local sources, fire officers became alarmed when an eyewitness told them how he had seen the roof vent ignite in flames after burning material from the chimney fire lodged in it. He told fire officers how he had climbed a ladder to try to remove the flaming vent, but the molten plastic fell on him. This happened some years ago, resulting in the major tile vent manufacturers at the time moving to non-flammable materials and having ventilators tested to BS 476 Part 3. Many more manufacturers have since moved into this market and this salutary lesson appears to have been forgotten. Several products on the market today are not manufactured from non-flammable materials. Building Regulation Approved Document B requirement states The roof of the building shall resist the spread of fire over the roof and from one building to another, having regard to the use and position of the building. This applies to roofs, the roof covering material and parts of roofs which would include accessories such as tile and slate ventilators. Glide veil, slate tile and ridge ventilators have been independently tested and approved as having an AA classification, meaning they can be used without restrictions giving the specifier peace of mind. For added peace of mind, Glide veil can also offer a 15 year design and product warranty. This insurance backed scheme is your guarantee that the design of the system produced by Glidevale will comply with the current regulatory requirements for ventilation and that the products will be fit for their intended purpose and weatherproof for a period of 15 years. Glidevale, make it easy, get it right. The building regulation approved document for fire compliance is Part B, which lays down performance criteria for roof coverings and parts of roofs. The requirement states that the roof of the building shall resist the spread of fire over the roof and from one building to another, 
having regard to the use and position of the building.